when i started only you can't observe instant change when we start when you start working with the kids you know before founding urbi foundation i was completely clueless about how disabled child learns and what disability is and the moment i learned about disability and it is permanent in nature that really shook me and uh, this really encouraged me to start urbi foundation but then again uh, before founding urbi foundation i did research with more than 60 70 special education institutes across mumbai most of them were uh, you know parents driven organization where the approach was very much into pity approach uh, but then uh, we tried to bring change and we took empowerment approach when we when i founded urbi foundation रिसर्चेशन assured that the disability system or the disability education is running smooth kitna ho sake murta hai possible usko utna bitate aur apne pair ko zyada pressure na dege i was aware about disability but i didn't know that they had social issues i didn't know that their educational challenges and you know i saw this child who was tied i still when the child is extremely hyperactive the child is again tied with the rope in the community and the moment you release any adhd child or an autistic child you can observe that he is hyperactive and uh, when we communicate with the parents they are not aware about what disability is what they say is bahut chanchal bachcha hai the child is not able to sit at one place and that is all they can explain about disability and this is how this entire journey started because my situation was equal you know even i wasn't aware about disability i didn't know Uh, what disabled child is? What kind of uh, educational, social, recreational, or any vocational problem that child faces? Uh, disability intervention uh, gestation period is more. It's not like you can see instant change. So for three to seven years, I was not able to trace the hardcore change that we observe in every normal child. You know, so we do have multiple case studies where kids have completed their level three education. They are out. They are earning well. Uh, they are self-employed. They are engaged in a self-help group that my kids learn. Or sometimes they are employed by other people, uh, like in Amazon. Or somebody owns his own garage and runs his garage. He is a very successful entrepreneur. So we do have case studies mm-hmm. like that, but it took us like say seven, eight years to prove something to the society or prove something to their families as well that you know the child is worthy of doing something. So uh, I think this project really tried our patience. Yeah. In India, there is like absolutely no awareness about disability when we, you know. Think about disability interventions, and the entire disability interventions that I have observed till date are very medical in nature. So Urmi tries to bring change by developing social model. It assures that even a grassroots level person should understand what disability is and plan a basic intervention for the child. So that means not out of system completely. When we come to the doctor, we have to give him a lot of medicine. We have to give him a lot of spine tinctures. That's why I am doing it. Okay? We have to give him a lot of medicine. जिकलोजिकली a uh, grouping is done and we prefer uh, you know creating homogeneous group and impart uh, objective based skill development to the kids that we work with and the education syllabus that we have is very functional in nature it's not at all theoretical so uh, and it's very much close to the grassroots level like we won't teach our kids what broccoli is what zucchini is the vegetables that they learn is mainly bindi you know potato and 
money and, and everything that they see every day. So the primary uh, intention is to teach the child generalize things whatever he sees and apply his knowledge effectively. <laughs> And that is very difficult, uh, you know, for a lefty person suddenly shift to the right hand and start writing that really affected my educational growth. And this is how I can relate myself to the parents, you know, how it feels. My parents were so upset because my scores were going down when I wrote paper in with my right hand. Also, I can empathize with the parents really well because other kids around them they are learning really fast. They are super sharp and their basic skills are developed in such a way that they don't need a special therapist or special educator to intervene and teach something to them. So I can completely relate to it plus parents always have dreams about their kids and when I meet uh, parents of the disabled kids either they are very disappointed or they, are, they have like high hopes because they don't know their child is disabled. So, I think question answer and observation really taught me. Uh, Today I took a workshop, you know, you, we were you know listening how the case studies are written, but again it took me 10 years to understand. <laughs> Good. The moment a child smiles back at me, in spite of he's not aware who am I, right? But he just smiles at me and that really makes my day okay fine. This cause is like words, you know, investing your life. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.